Hey everyone. So the next phase of the TRS-80 restoration continues. Um, this isn't the repaired case. This is uh, actually one that I bought off of Jay North and also the uh, digital uh, CRT and control board since my CRT was definitely broken. So they came in today and I almost did a proper unboxing video because it was kind of like Christmas around here. But I figured I would just save everyone the time. You know what it's like to open a box. So anyway, um, nice new picture tube. Packing and stuff was, was very nice, so it all not only survived the shipping, it probably would have survived uh, probably a couple of nuclear bombings at least. It was uh, perfectly intact, and FedEx didn't pound and stomp the boxes this time, so that was nice. And equally uh, true for the case, with the bezel in there, everything looks great. This is, uh, I'm trying to get into the shadow, this is one of Jay's case badges. If you haven't checked them out, you should. And just to show you how close these are, like how real they are. Um, this is the original badge off the case that broke. And and they are like split in images of each other. So very, very cool. Very excited. Um, so what we are going to do today is I'm, we're outside of my computer room. Um, so say hi to the server cabinet. Um, nope, server cabinet. So we're out here in the presence of the great server cabinet so that I could just get this unpacked because I've got both um, all the computers all set up, so I only have one little bit of desk to work on. So let's relocate in there. We'll get set up. We're going to put the tube into the uh, housing here, and then I'm going to get started. So as we can see here, got my work area here, so my cleaned up keys, and I did repair this bezel. Um, there will be another video on that part. Um, I have some plastic weld that I'm pretty happy with. I'm going to remount the old CRT into that. Uh, just to see how how well it holds up. I mean, that one's already broken, so if the mounts break, who gives a shit, right? Doesn't matter, tube's already fucked. So we've got that. Um, say hello to the collection. And, yeah, i got all the computers here. My original Model 4, the 16, which does have some love coming for YouTube. 4825, new Gator Ray Model 4, and the non Gator Ray project sitting next to the Altair. And by the way, that's one of the things I want to use on one of these new Model 4s for, is I want to use as a terminal for this Altair and make more videos on that. Anyway, this is the next step of the journey. After we get it tested out, we'll see how the keyboard works, and that's really going to determine what my next steps are. If the keyboard's borked, then we're going to have a desoldering and take apart project, and you'll get to listen to more Samba, some sped up Samba action. And if not, if the keyboard is in good shape, then probably the power supply is next, and I will start working on that other case. Um, I do want to see if I can do it. If if the other case doesn't work, if it, if it breaks, you know, whatever, it was already fucked so I don't care, and, uh, you know, I, I have a real uh, good, in good shape case, top of the case for this thing now. So, all right, enough jabbering, here we go. Okay, so you can't really see here, but I've got uh, the washers and the nuts for these. What I'm going to try and do here is just get the board set in there and try and get this front corner in and then reach in and get the back corner. I've got to be real careful doing this. Um, you know, actually, it might be wise, I'm going to do this a little differently. I think it might be wise if I want to figure this out. So I'd like to be able to set it in there. I don't want it to, I'll set this on those screws and wreck it. Do I think that's the way to go? I know you can't see what I'm doing here. All right. At least to get it in there. Once I get it in there, I'll put it back on its side, but I feel like that has the less possibility for anything bad to happen. I'm sucking at tripoding right now, I apologize. Okay, let's see if I can do this and how comfortable I am with it. If I'm comfortable, I will get a couple of the screws in or get them all tied down and then we will turn it back on its side and I can show the installation of the board. So here we go. Thank Jay for letting me double borrow his packing material to use. Watch the back of the screen there, watch the neck. There we go. And we're almost in. And we're in. Perfect. Okay. And we're in. Now that sounded bad. This is on. This came it was off. I was off when I got it. I just stuck it on there. Let's see the card reaches. And that's great. So we'll be able to mount that for good. There we go. It's sitting in. Okay, this was the way to do it. I'd have to be careful not to let it slide. But that was the right way to go versus me trying to hold it up. That would have been stupid and I probably would have broken it. So let's grab our... Just a couple of corners worth of these, and I will finger tighten them. Apparently, I'm missing a washer. Well, whatever. Okay, so let's 
get this on. We're gonna lift this back up. Side, watch the video board. Okay, there we are. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to mount this board. Okay, so this is the back side of the thing, the, the shielding. Screw holes now we put the board in. Now we're good. See? If you're gonna do it, you've got to do it right. The shielding was there in the old one, you need the shielding in the new one. Looks like we're installed, except I have to tighten all of this. That is the order of business now. attached we're in we're good now let's get the model 4 back on the desk the computer part and we will test this out all right I apologize for the funny angle um, but this should allow you to see I'm just gonna connect the connector here Got a little ground wire we're gonna connect okay everything's connected the machine is plugged in I got my contrast and brightness here moment of truth here we go, a moment of truth. I'm gonna try and hold down brake and we're gonna fire you up. Oh, we have, okay. Let's see if we get anything. Ooh, we've got, there we got life. Actually the tension pots aren't too bad. They need some adjustment, but look at that. Beautiful. Ah, I love it when a plan works. Two, three, oh, three doesn't work. Four, five. Oop, we got some jerkiness going on. What that's about. I check my connection. Okay, and brake obviously we know works. But we have, uh, we have functioning machine. The machine is it living. That is good. I'm very happy about that. Let's move on to the next bit. I think what I'm going to do is, we're gonna, we're gonna. Hold off. Three seems to be coming back as I go. If I really have to, what I might do is just pull out the problem keys, although now that I'm exercising it, it seems to be working. Um, we gotta fix that though. This is going off, I don't wanna wreck it. I'm gonna figure that out. But that's it. So I think the keyboard's in good enough shape that I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go crazy on it just yet. We'll kinda get it broken and set for a while. Um, we are still going to try and repair the other case. That is going to be part of this, but for now, let's clean this up, and then we'll move on to repairing the other case. I do have, uh, I've gotten a couple of suggestions on the Facebook group, on the Model 4 group, and I'm probably going to take a look and see if I can get a hold of some of those. But in the meantime, I'll do my initial cleaning. I, as I mentioned in the group, and I, I, I've done in other videos, um, I like magic erasers. The only thing I don't like about them is they make a mess, and, and it's true, they really do. But but I've had really good luck. Um, the only thing is because these cases are textured, they do tend to eat through them. But that said, um, this case is in really good shape anyway. This is the one that Jay sent me. Um, it's really just got a little bit of, kind of outer, outer dirt on it. There's a, a couple of spots here that are scuffs. I should be able to get right off. So let's get to it. Enjoy the Samba.
I am pretty happy with that. There's a mark on the top here that I think is just, um, I'll hit it real quick, but I think it's just the way the case is. It's not really a mark so much, it's just a, and it might have just been where I, I don't know, okay, it kind of came off. Okay. Yep, okay. I'm very happy with that. Um, like I say, I might try and touch it up as I can. I'm happy enough with this now. Let's get the case badge and install that. Okay, so the original one I'm going to keep for the other case. Um, and if I break the other case, I'll just never put it on there. Now, you see Jay ships this in a bag here with a very um, attention-grabbing attention. I've applied a stronger double stick tape to the back of the badge to provide a stronger bonding of the case. Carefully peel off the backing of the line placement with care. A line placement with care. I can read today. Um, this tape is very, very sticky. That. That looks excellent. That's it, easy to install. And again, I mean, they're so close. That's really cool. Very, very cool. So that is the new case and monitor. We're going to unmount the power supply and we're going to take inventory of the caps on it. And then what I will do is go purchase those caps and then we will recap the power supply. My plan is basically to replace all of them. Anyway, uh, and of course, um, this time, we have our whiskey. Earlier, it was not really the right hour for whiskey, but um, you've seen my previous videos. If you have, you've probably heard the phrase classic computers and classic whiskey. whiskey. It's a winning combination. I haven't even had the whiskey yet. And that is never truer. This is a single malt space side scotch from the Scotch Malt Whiskey Society. Schlancha. Mm -hmm. mm. Sorry. You got to watch me do nothing, but if I'm going to sip a scotch like that, I'm not going to chug it. Here we go. That's it for now. We've got the power supply out. We've got our inventory taken. I have some caps floating around, but I know I don't have everything I need here. So this is going to be a trip to my local electronics parts store, and I will be able to get. I should be able to get all of this locally. That's really cool. I won't have to wait. So until next time, thank you for watching. Cheers, slancha, kampai, prost. Whatever your greeting is, I'm, I'm sure I missed many. There's, there's many more than I know or could do, but... All right, thanks for watching.